Net, pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. You are watching Falcon 9 accelerate space flights Sherpa LTC-2 and our Double Starlink power. satellites out into space. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And great call out so far. Supersonic means that the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we have now passed through Max Q, or the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will see on ascent. And we're just about a minute away from several events happening back to back. That is main engine cutoff or MIGO, stage separation and SES one or second back stage. Engine chill has started. Second stage engine start one. And that will be followed shortly by the fairing deploy. Again, that is MIGO stage separation and SES one followed by fairing deploy coming up in just about 20 seconds or so from now. Miko is where all nine of the M1D engines that you're seeing on your screen shut down in preparation for stage separation. Once the vehicles separate, the first stage will make its way to attempt to land on Just Read the Instructions tonight. As the second stage continues on its journey with SES-1 igniting the second stage engine. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. There we heard Miko. We saw stage separation on your right hand screen. You could see the MVAC engine igniting on the second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you could see on your right hand screen that the fairing has deployed. Today marks the fourth flight for one fairing half and the fifth flight for the other fairing half. And we will attempt to recover the fairing halves again to reuse them on a future launch. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. And always great callouts. Both first and second stage are following nominal trajectories.
And today's mission marks SpaceX's 178th overall launch. This particular first stage supported Arabsat 6A, STP-2, Cosmos SkyMed second generation FM-2, KPLO, and two Starlink missions. And what you're seeing on your screen is a view on the second stage looking at our MVAC engine. So far on a nominal trajectory. And again, is carrying our Starlink satellites as well as the Sherpa LTC-2 payload. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by continue to follow nominal trajectories. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. And we're just under a minute from now from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. Now, the first stage is making its way back down to Earth, and it requires a couple burns in order to do so. The first will be, or the next will be, the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine M1D engines reignite. That burn will last about 20 seconds long. And then sh about a minute or so afterwards will be the final burn, which is the landing burn. That's a single engine burn on that first stage. Stage one entry burn start up. There on your left hand screen, you could see those engines reigniting, lighting up the screen so we can see the first stage as it makes its way back down to Earth. And this burn will last about 20 seconds long. And it helps to slow the vehicle as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. And as those engines shut down, that concludes the entry burn. We are just about continue to follow nominal trajectories. Great call outs there. We're just about a minute away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Again, we are attempting to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions tonight. MVAC shut down. We heard that call out for MVAC shutdown or SECO one. That is second engine cutoff one. Stage one transonic. You may have heard that call out that stage one is transonic. That means that it is traveling near the speed of sound. The landing burn should be starting up here shortly. Stage one landing burn. There you can see on your screen, the landing burn has begun for Falcon 9. Landing leg deploy. And stage really awesome views of the first stage landing. This marks the 140th overall landing of an orbital class rocket and the 40th launch and landing of 2022. Just waiting Nominal for... Nominal orbit insertion. 
That's exactly what we were waiting for, confirmation of good orbit. Now, as a reminder, in addition to our 51 Starlinks on board, we have a passenger on board as well, Sherpa LTC2 for our customer space flight. The second stage will start and shut down one more time around T plus 45 minutes before we deploy the rideshare payload. Now, until, until then, we're going to enter a coast phase. So sit back and enjoy the views and space jams. Welcome back to the Starlink webcast. We're now coming up on SES2, or second stage engine start two. This burn will last just a couple seconds long before we shut down the MVAC engine again. And there we briefly saw the MVAC engine start up and it has now shut down. So the second stage will now enter another coast phase until we deploy space flights Sherpa LTC2. So we'll take another short break and come back to you live in just about three minutes from now. Welcome back to the Starlink webcast. If you're just now joining us, we're expecting Sherpa LTC2 to deploy shortly here. Uh, unfortunately, we won't have ground station coverage to show deployment live, so we will keep the nets up uh, and wait for that confirmation once we do gain ground station coverage. So again, enjoy the space tunes until we have confirmation of deployment, and we will come back um, to confirm that. Acquisition of signal, Tasmania. Sherpa, LTC2, separation confirmed. You may have heard over the nets, but just in case you missed it, we got confirmation of successful deploy of our rideshare payload, Sherpa LTC2. Now the mission isn't over just yet. Stage two is still carrying our 51 Starlink satellites and is scheduled to deploy around the T plus one hour and 12 minute mark. Unfortunately, we also won't have ground station coverage for the deployment of our Starlink satellites, so we'll be ending coverage of today's mission. But be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.